Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. So actually, there was a kind of a, a big moment that happened for me off camera, and I'll show that off in a second when we get to my workbench here, or actually the anvil. I actually managed to get a hook from a skeleton after killing, I don't know, 30 or 40,000 of them. So between this and the iron chains that I've made, for some reason I have five of them, which is too too many, or two more than I need, I can actually make a grappling hook, or a hook shot, so let's make that. And I'll put that in my shuriken slot, because I don't think I'll be fighting the Eye of Cthulhu anytime soon. And then let's uh, take this bad boy out on the road, because I don't have any experience with this. I don't know how it works. Alright, that's pretty cool. I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm into this. What if I do it on a wall? Oh, yeah, what if I do it on a tree? Nothing. What if I do it on the ground? Yeah? Alright. Check it. Go up. Go down. I mean, gravity can usually do that job for me. But, anyway, let's, uh... You guys have been telling me that this actually makes cave diving a whole hell of a lot easier, so let's, let's go do some cave diving. First, I want to mention that, uh, for whatever reason, my merchant hasn't moved back ever since he died under mysterious circumstances. Uh, how do I... How do I just let go of the hookshot? I think it's... Okay, just jump. That's fine. Alright, so let's go back down into the cave that I've created. I've actually... Oop, oop, oop. Uh, there we go. I've actually uh, done quite a lot of spelunking in the last few, uh, well, few hours, really, because this is, these, these videos that uh, have gone up recently have all been recorded on the same day, so, you know, happy Sunday, guys. I'm so glad the rapture didn't happen last night. Keep going, keep going. All right. Uh, this is a long way down now. It usually takes me about two or three minutes to get down here, but, you know, uh, I, I'm not gonna just edit that part out, because it's kind of nice to see the progression of how deep I can go. I've actually breached into a new area, which I guess, for lack of a better term, I'm just gonna refer to it as hell. Uh, the, the walls change color, there's a shit ton of fire imps pretty much everywhere, but also, um, you know, I've uncovered a treasure chest, although I haven't been able to get to any of the goods inside, because... Uh, the fire imps just immediately kill me when I try anything. Is this the right way? This doesn't feel like the right way. Eh, maybe it's the right way. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, okay, I know where we are. Just keep going. You can drop down. Goddamn slimes, alright. So, yeah, this is the right way again. Okay, keep going. I'm not too concerned about health right now because I have all of those glowing mushrooms and uh, also about 11 healing potions. Do a little bit of mushroom harvesting. Again, it sounds so dirty and I can't figure out why. Uh, after that fight with Cthulhu where I used all eight of my major healing potions. So I'm, I'm flush now. I should be alright. But the fire imps, they take a lot out of you. But fortunately, you don't really have to fight them. You can just hit their fireballs away with your sword, like Legend of Zelda style. And then, that makes defense a whole lot easier. It also makes mining a whole lot easier. Because you can just basically do it with your pickaxe by accident. Over and over. Now I'm being a little less cautious with my uh, cave diving here, because because of this double jump, uh, it's a lot easier for me to avoid fall damage. Like, I can fall a great distance, and as long as I double jump right at the very end, then I won't be hurt. So, just keep going, we're in the lava level now, and um, closing in on the, uh, on the exit, I think. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm going in the right direction. Because I do have a branching path that, that comes up, and I can never remember where that happens. Hmm. Alright, so far so good. This seems like the right direction. Uh, if I end up going the wrong way, it'll be fine. But we'll just, um... We'll actually have to get ourselves down to hell. Which is okay. I can do that. I, I can drag you to hell. Keep going, keep going, uh, I should actually check out my inventory. Oh, I got a lot of space, okay, that's good. And I, I, the skeleton didn't die the first time he fell in the lava, I'm impressed. Now here's where it branches, and I can't remember if I'm supposed to go down this way, or over this way. I, I think I'm supposed to go over, but I do have a path that goes down as well. Slime, please! I don't have time to deal with you right now. Again, I kind of feel like these enemies should just stop spawning. Once you once you demonstrated that you can destroy them, this is a minor complaint, and maybe I haven't demonstrated that I can destroy them, seeing as how they're uh, taking me out pretty good. All right, where are you at? Skeleton dead. I don't even need to kill you anymore, man. I got a hook already. 
That's the only thing I needed you for. And I think... I think this is the right way now. As I almost die in that lava. Hmm? Oh, maybe not. I think I've taken a wrong turn somewhere. I gotta... You know what? I should really take advantage of the fact that there are signs. Which way is it? This way? I've got some platforms here. Clearly I've been here. I don't think it's this way. But, um, let's take a look now that I'm up here. You can see I'm lost in my own goddamn caves. Alright, another glowing mushroom field. Okay, I've been here. And actually, I did pick up some glowing mushroom seeds. If you remember a video or two ago, I talked about how those were, uh... Those are pretty important because then you can set up a mushroom farm. And I'll, you know, I've already set up a tree farm. I'll set up a mushroom farm eventually. Once I figure out how to do it. Uh, and I've got two seeds, so I'm not sure if those, like, proliferate. Uh, I think, I think this is the right way now. I'm pretty sure. Last time I was here, I heard some like some churning in the deep, like a worm was coming for me. But I worry because I know that there are different worms in hell and much much stronger worms, which is uh kind of a problem for me, since apparently those are my largest phobia. Oh man, it's the wrong direction. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's do a little bit of mining. We'll put this pickaxe to the test. Keep going down, down, down. And once we get down to hell or to something interesting, I will let you guys know. Wow, and it's literally about a minute later, and you can see I've entered hell here, based on the uh, the change in the background. And I'm not sure, maybe pots here give me more more loot? Doesn't look like it. Let's take out a torch and see what we're dealing with. We should have fire imps coming up soon, and I can demonstrate how you can just kind of get around them. Alright, yes, there they are. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna hit those, hit those fireballs away. I can't believe that in hell, it's still so dark that... I need to place torches everywhere. I guess um, DM, or DMX was right. It's dark and hell is hot. Alright, now if I can actually just kind of like pin him. Oh. Oh, come on. That's such a cop out. I had him on the ropes. And it's actually it's easier if you use a pick to hit back these fireballs. It's also easier if you stand further away. And it's a lot easier if uh, you're kind of better at the game. Let's drop down on this guy. Yeah. Yeah, eat it. Oh, man. He's just saving himself from his certain fate. How much health does this guy left? Okay, now I gotcha. I'd be scared, too. Can't believe this only does three damage. I hit him with my boomerang from here. Huh? Eh? Alright, there's something. I don't know that, uh, I don't know what fire imps drop for loot. Oh, hey, your buddy's here too. This is a, this is a bad situation for me. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that could probably not have gone worse, but I have to go back. Look at that awesome treasure selection there. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do a, a smash and grab once I get down there. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll do some editing as well so that you guys don't have to watch me go all the way back down here. I really should have used my grappling hook. What was I thinking? Anyway, see you guys in a minute. All right, I'm back. Um, but kind of in a different spot, I think. I've made my. Uh, my play is such a labyrinth that I uh, actually cannot even figure out where I was supposed to be, and uh, I better get my game together here before I get fucking killed all right. Oh, okay, okay, oh, we're in a good spot. We were in a good spot! Oh, Jesus! The hellstone hurts! Oh, man, I don't know. I don't think I'm cut out for this place yet. Anyway. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. You know what? I'm gonna give it one more shot. I've already lost almost all my money, so I'll see you guys for my next attempt, which will, you know, almost certainly end in failure, but whatever, it's worth a shot. If I can just get down there and get that light crystal, man, 
Everything will be so much better. All right, and here we go again, back at the entrance to hell. Ooh. What do, what do I even say? Yeah, okay. So far, so decent. I've really got to be on the lookout for lava. That's the thing. Lava and hellstone. I killed the fire imp. Wow. Hoisted by his own bedog. Okay. Okay. Oh, the bricks. The bricks hurt. Okay. All right. Now I feel would be a good time for the grappling hook. Except it doesn't quite reach anywhere that I needed to reach. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now here. Can you get over there? Okay. And maybe maybe this one up here. Okay. Cooking with gas now. I've actually managed to kill a single fire imp. There's a chest. God damn it. Okay, I've got some hellstone on me now. Three gold bars, ten jars, some gold and shurikens. And those are actually going to be really useful when it comes time to try to kill the Eye of Cthulhu again. Because... Uh, again, my merchant has decided to basically shit the bed. Whoa! Hey! Hey now! Hey now! That was close. Get out! That's such a beautiful, a beautiful selection of goods to overtake and claim, but... Uh, I guess it's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna have to accept that I don't have the, uh the requisite skills or the requisite equipment right now to take on hell. I'm gonna have to take a step back. This has been a day of recording videos where uh, I haven't necessarily been able to to deliver as well as I thought I would. I wonder, why would I want a gold chandelier? Come on now. Now can I actually... Uh, I don't have quite enough gold to make gold armor. I think I need two more. Which is really what I'm, what I'm in the market for. Mm, gold helmet obviously would be huge improvement, but it isn't really that urgent. I think I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang on to my gold right now and then I'll start making I'll make some gold chain mail. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the latest part of Let's Fail Pretty Goddamn Badly at Terraria. I will see you next time when inevitably I'll try something that I don't necessarily have the skills or gumption to go through with. Anyway, as always, see you next time.